guys, I'm Kasturi Sanup and I welcome all of you to today's video. Today, we are going to discuss about the much-talked issue of privatization of bank. There are a lot of public sector banks which are facing a lot of frauds. NPA cases, losses are mounting on the balance sheet of these banks. A lot of default happens with these banks. And Niti Aayog has time and again recommended privatization of these banks, these public sector banks. So today we are going to see what happens if privatization of bank happens. So let us begin this video. What does government get if a bank is privatized? First of all, whatever is the capital government had invested in that particular bank, it gets it back. So a valuation of a bank depends on its business mix, on the customer base, on number of branches, on number of ATMs that the bank has. But definitely the valuation is going to be more than the market value. So government is going to make money there. Also, government won't have to infuse new additional capital to these loss-bearing entities because now they are privatized. So that is going to consolidate government's balance sheet and that is going to save some government's funds. Also, now government won't have to monitor or supervise the operations of these banks. So that is going to save some of government's time as well as manpower. But it has a downside as well. There are a lot of government-sponsored projects which are carried out in a public sector bank. So government does not get a free hand to carry out these projects in private sector bank. What do the shareholders get? Well, the shareholders kind of own the bank now. So once privatization takes place, it all depends on the new acquirer, how well he manages bank, he or she manages that particular bank. The more efficiently that person or that entity manages bank, more value it creates for the shareholders. So there are a lot of private sector banks like ICICI Bank, HDFC Bank, which are so well managed and they always provide profits value to shareholders so there is it is the responsibility of the new acquirer to efficiently manage banks so that it gives value to shareholders what do the customers get well there is no immediate effect on the customers but eventually they are going to get good service if privatization of bank happens because there is a lot of evidence which suggests that private sector banks give a better service than public sector bank however public sector bank perform few of the operations for government they perform few functions for the government like collection of water bills collection of power bills all these services will be stopped Another thing that can happen that can impact customers is that there is always a greater trust of customers on the public sector bank. So it can happen that customers will trust less on the private banks when the privatization takes place. What happens to the third and important stakeholders of banks, the bank employees? Well, with privatization, the performance is going to be a key measure for promotions and for appraisals. So, unlike the public sector banks, all the wages, the salaries, the performance allowance is going to be based on your performance, on the performance of the bank employees and may not be time-based promotions as it used to happen with the public sector banks. Also, public sector banks used to provide reservations to the backward classes. These kind of reservations can be stopped in job once a bank becomes private. So what do you think? How is privatization of bank going to affect you? Post it in the comment section. See you in the next video.